Super motocross riders resemble a jockey in a horse race, but their actions also resemble a drummer in a rock band. While pushing their skills and their heart rate on very technical obstacles, these riders also have to work both feet and both hands with precision. There's five different controls on the bike that they're constantly manipulating to do a lap around the track, throttle, front brake, rear brake, clutch, and shift lever. The throttle is actually applied before the gate ever drops. Once that gate drops, it's wide open to get to the first turn. And as they go through the corners and some of the rhythm sections, the throttle is manipulated, depending on what gear they're in, for a certain amount of power output to the rear wheels. The same hand that's manipulating the throttle also has to apply the front brake. So a rider will hold the front brake to hold the bike in position before the gate even falls. A lot of times if a rider uses too much front brake, it pulls the front of the bike down. Suspension might have to be actually adjusted a little bit. On the other side of the bars, you have the clutch lever. Clutch is also used before the gate ever drops to start applying power to the rear wheel. It's used in mostly the corners and, it, and believe it or not, even in the hoops, most riders will keep a finger on this clutch lever in case something goes bad. They can instantly pull that clutch lever in and disengage the power from the rear wheel. The rear brake is the control that gets used probably the least. The rider will feather the rear brake a little bit in the corners sometimes and apply it to spin the rear of the bike around or they may use it just to calm the rear of the bike down. On the lap around a super motocross track, the shift lever is used quite a bit. Gate falls, and goes down the start straight, grabs another gear, downshifts when he gets to the corner. If there's a jump for the hoops, we'll get all of his shifting done in the air. Usually they'll upshift two times to get it in a high gear. Bikes utilize first, second, third gear quite a bit, but the top gear is only utilized in the hoops.